What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Sold Out. And on today's episode, we have the Jaw One first colorway drop versus the Sabrina by you. Um, shout out to Nike for letting us get this uh, Oregon like colorways and all that. Like the duck on the back too. It's a dope little aesthetic. I think it's dope that they let us do that because Oregon PEs cost a crazy amount of money. Always wanted a like an Oregon color pair of shoes, and I'm not trying to pay six to twenty thousand dollars. Matter of fact, I cannot pay that much. So, um, yeah, shout out to Nike for letting us get these. But getting into this, this is going to be lighter than this, even though I thought it would be opposite. Like this sneaker is pretty pretty wide for the most part, and this one's a little bit more narrow. Um, a lot of people say this reminds them of a Kobe, and it does kind of remind me of a Kobe. Uh, now, far as like the comfort and all that, a lot of the the nice Kobe's I think have the drop in. I have not played in the six, but this does kind of feel more towards gear towards like a Kobe 11. Um, and in this one, not so much. So if you're wondering which one plays more like a Kobe, this is going to play and feel a little bit more like a Kobe than the jaw, even though they're both lows. But jumping into it, we are going to get a weight. The jaw is a little bit lighter coming in at 11.9. And I think this was 12.5. I don't 12.4. So the jaw beats it by a little bit when it comes to weight. Now, Heel comfort, you guys can see the padding on the jaw. I didn't like how padded this was. Like we could have did without all this padding. Definitely feels good on foot, but when you look down at your foot, your foot looks wide in the sneaker. Like it just looks like big and bulky. Now I'll compare it to this. This has like a memory foam style padding. It feels great. Heel lockdown was great on this sneaker. I had like very, very minimal heel slip on this. I had to play in it for 15 minutes. Went back through, tightened down the laces, locked them down, and it felt great. I had no heel slip ever again. I think I just had to kind of break it in just a little bit more. So when it comes to uh, like heel comfort and lockdown, I'm definitely going to have to go with the Sabrina 1s. Now down onto the tongue. The tongue on the jaw is padded. Feels very good on foot. Come down here, it's still padded. Decent padding all the way through. Feels super nice on foot. It conforms to foot. And you can see, kind of had this material right here. Um, I wish they would have had it poured it out. Like a breathable tongue now on the sabrina they almost have this padding right here on the tongue just it, but it's a little bit thinner feels great conforms to the foot perfect and you can see the mesh running through the tongue definitely makes for a breathable sneaker so when it comes down to the tongue i'm gonna have to go with the sabrina as well down on the laces the job probably has a nicer laces they're flat laces they feel heavy duty and the sabrinas have these i think the bayou colorway should have had like doper laces or at least upgraded laces now down on the materials materials on the jaw are nice um they use this this thick mesh you guys can see the netted mesh there's padding underneath that feels very very comfortable on foot there's no issues no rubbing anywhere like with this padding that they put under it felt great i love that they did this right here this kind of pulls in and really locks your foot down into the footbed and then it's great for support as well they say strap on nike.com well it used to it's not a strap it's just it just kind of straps your foot down to the footbed so the materials on the jaw they were pretty nice for the most part i i can't hate on them i like how they kind of put the synthetic leather all the way around right and it comes up right here i think it's dope adds for support now onto the sabrina i love the materials on the sabrina they feel so comfortable on foot all this they use a lot of lightweight mesh and i was really shocked that this sneaker weighed more than this one like this one i thought was going to be super light and I just don't know where the, the weight difference is coming from. It might be from the React. So it, it could be the React. The Phylon might be a little bit lighter than the React. So, But anyways, out of the materials of the Sabrina, it's mesh all the way around here. And it's almost like a canvas material through here with all the, you guys can see the embroidery all through that. I think this sneaker looks amazing. Every colorway looks dope. I think I've seen almost every colorway of this, and I, I think they're all dope. Uh, the jaw, I had the zombie one too. So them are, these are probably my two favorite colors, the jaw zombie and, and then the initial release. Not really a fan of the, uh, I think it's an all, all pink pair that they had dropped. But when it comes to materials, I'm going to have to go with the Sabrina um, aesthetic wise. And I, I think it might just last a little bit longer. Like with this embroidery all over it, you got tons of protection. If you do toe drag, you should be all right for quite some time. And same in the jaw, you'll be good on the jaw too. You got the synthetic up there, but yeah, I'm gonna have to go with the with the Sabrina on this one. Now down on the cushioning, cushioning on the jaw was fairly decent. I mean, you got to think this is a hundred ten dollar sneaker, so we're talking budget sneaker, jaw's first model. Um, they actually did put zoom in it. They're zooming the forefoot uh, phylon around here. It it doesn't feel as hard as 
you would think Phylon does though. Like you do get a little bit of heal impact protection back there. It's not really squishy, but you do get it. And the four foot zoom unit in this, you can feel it. Even as a small guard, um, I can feel it. So when it comes to the cushion, I was actually surprised because you can get some of these for 110, 120, 130. I think if it's like one of the more rare colors, like the zombie colorway, I think that was 130. There's a couple like EYBLs. They're gonna cost a little bit more. But for the Sabrina, I got to go with the Sabrina when it comes to the cushioning setup. Only thing I don't like about the Sabrina is they used a very thin wafer zoom unit, and it is very, very thin. Like, you can barely feel it. And But what I, I do love is you get tons of response out of this. This has good response, too, but you're going to get better response out of this. If you're looking to play quick, this is definitely a quick shoe, um, and I love React. React is one of my favorite. Uh, I like it better than Cushlon. I like it better than Phylon. I like it better than Lunar Line. I definitely like the react on the back of this heel impact protection is great on the sabrina one so when it comes down to to cushioning i gotta go with the sabrina one now onto traction they're about the same this kind of has like an offset hair and bone pattern you could see that and similar to this one as well so when it comes to traction they're, they're both kind of similar on a clean floor they will feel like around top tier on a dusty setting you will have to wipe here and there but it does get the job done there's not tons of slip outs or anything like that they do feel good on foot so yeah when it comes down to like the traction on these two i'm gonna have to go with the tie um can't really give the edge to nobody because they were about exactly the same now on the who i pick to win out of this group it, it, it's gonna be the sabrina one you guys probably already know that the, the sabrina one like i said it, it plays similar to a kobe it's not a kobe also i love the outrigger on the sabrina one guys can see that looks like a narrow sneaker but it's not it has a pretty decent uh footbed you guys can see it widens out right there i like that i like that they added that the jaw really doesn't have that it kind of just rounds out a little bit you can see that right there but yeah when it comes down to what sneaker i'm gonna hoop with it's gonna be the jaw or the the sabrina ones i feel quick in them you still get decent impact protection so yeah i'm gonna have to go with the sabrina ones the jaw's still a dope sneaker like for 110 bucks 120 130 even these are both great sneakers like you can't go wrong like i told the coaches that i work with you are definitely going to see a tons of these this year in high school basketball and so far you have not a lot of people got a gut got the guts to order a woman's sneaker remember you have to go 1.5 up so just remember that when you're ordering the sneaker like this sneaker is a nine and a half i wear a size eight so you have to go one and a half sizes up so just remember that when you're going to order this because when I had this added to cart, I had this as a woman's eight. So that would have sucked because it definitely wouldn't have fit my foot. So I'm glad that I, I paid attention and caught that. But yeah, guys, you can't go wrong with either one of these sneakers. If you like the jaw aesthetically, get the jaw. If you like the Sabrina aesthetically, it, and look, everybody's like, it's a woman's sneaker. Will it hold up? Hell yes, it'll hold up. This is this is a BU or a Bayou colorway. Um, but there's no difference. I had the two other colorways and they're exactly the same, same material, same rubber compound. It feels like it doesn't feel like there's nothing different. A lot of times people say the Bayou colors or the Bayou sneakers have like different materials or they don't feel the same as the original. And this definitely does feel the same as original. So I can, when it comes to Nike, I can vouch for that. But guys, I appreciate you tuning in this episode. I'm gonna start knocking out some more versus videos, trying to start posting a little bit more frequently throughout the week when it comes to shorts and kind of give you guys like, quick reviews on youtube quick reviews on instagram just so you guys if you guys don't have time to get into one of these videos and listen to my breakdown and my thoughts on it you guys can just jump on them sites and you can just go through and and check it out there and if it helps you make up your mind there so be it but i appreciate you guys tuning in we'll catch you on the next episode of sold out peace